Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy Lane. Today you stepping into my life. Sheesh. Um, how y'all feeling? How y'all living? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Um, I'm living good, living great. You feel me? Yeah, they. No, but um, uh, as you can see, I'm on my snot outfit, with the hoodie on. Uh, what do you say? Sometimes I can really be fucked up. Not much to say, but hey, goodbye. Everybody want to tell the truth, but lie. Yo, I like that song. Revenge. Yo, make sure y'all listen to that. Yo, I got a video with Cole Bennett. One day I'm about to get on Cole Bennett. Mark my words. LTG. LTG slash Cole Bennett. Lyrical lem Lemonade. But anyways, yo, this video is about control your life. I'm hyped today. I'm hyped today. Let's get it. I need y'all to control your lives. Do you know who the fuck you are? Honestly, really, if people say I know myself, woo -woo, I love myself. But do you really, though? I got to really look at you, though. Yes. Do you really love yourself, man? I need you to realize your life is a fucking movie. Who do you want in your cast? Take them the fuck out. Take them out. If they're not helping you, if they're not helping you progress, especially if you put your time and effort into their lives and they don't reciprocate that same thing, get them the fuck out of there. Seriously, y'all. I'm not trying to be that dude, but listen, y'all, I think a lot of people need to just hear this message. Everybody deep down in their soul is iconic. Or they should at least recognize that fact. So that being said, Okay, my question to you is this. Who do you look up to? Who are your figures in your, in your life, your daily life that you, like I'm talking about on some like old school kid shit when people, if you could have your main people that you have like on your wall, who are you? Who are, who are they to you? Now, however you answer that question, now I need you to think of this. However you look at them, imagine a kid that's in fifth grade right now going to look up to you like that. Like, okay, I because I had to put that in my perspective. Here I am trying to, or not trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm directing my life a certain way. I'm kind of conducting, I'm controlling my life a certain way, right? And then it just, you just put that in perspective of like, damn, there's going to be someone that's looking up to me, you know what I mean? And it's just, ever since I really kept that in mind, I started to hold myself a certain way. I started to move different. Cause it's like, I'm talking like, seriously, like if you look at, you look up to Drake, right? As an artist, okay. Imagine you're the next Drake. Cause life works in crazy ways. So imagine if you are the next one in line, even cause you know, they say, especially nowadays, you could blow up instantly. So imagine you drop a song tonight, boom. on some Little Nas X type shit. Boom, that shit takes the fuck off. Like, you have to really have that mindset every day. Any chance is a chance. Any moment is a, any song is a lottery ticket. Any video is a lottery ticket. Anything is, a, in a, is an escape out of the nine to five system. I don't know about y'all, but today I was working at my job, right? Yo, you already know what it is. I don't have to say nothing. I was working at my job and I was really just looking around why am I talking loud? I was really looking around and I was just like, this is really my reality right now. Like I'm currently working here and I know I'm too intelligent for this stuff, man. Like I know I, I'm like, I'm the dreamer. I have big dreams. I put in the work. I mean, like, excuse, excuse me. Like, I just, I just, I just know this isn't it. Excuse me, I had some Popeyes right before I did this, y'all. Or right before I started this video. So if I keep burping or whatever, my bad. Anyways, like, yo. I just put him, and then you know, you're talking with your fellow friends at the job. And it's like, yo. Like, let's take over. Like, I want to be able to take over the universe with my day ones. I want to be able to honestly look back on my life. 60 years from now, 50 years from now, blessed that, oh man, I'm glad I posted this video. I'm glad I went to this show. I'm glad I did that song. Control your life. You are the author of your book. 
You are the director of your film. Even if you don't listen to me, you can sit there looking at me like I'm a joke or this or that. The haters, fuck the haters, man. They're gonna say whatever they want. I gotta get into your face again, man. Listen, nigga, niggat, you, yes, you can control your life. Whatever you see on this screen, you can control that. How do you want to be perceived at the end of the day when the curtains close for you? How do you want your movie to be uh, rolled out? How do you who do you want in the cast? Where do you want the setting to take place at? What is the uh, what's the what's the theme of the mu- uh, I was about to say theme of the music. What's the theme of the movie? You know what I mean? Really put that in perspective. Control your surroundings. Stop being on autopilot. Like, people are, y'all give me hype, man. Fuck. Look, look, stop. You ever have that moment when you just suddenly get conscious and you're like, whoa, what the fuck, what happened? Like, like you know, say, for instance, if I'm driving or I'm working and then in the middle of the day, I'm just kind of like aware. I'm just conscious of the moment. That was you being on autopilot. Do not, and I repeat, do not let yourself go on fucking autopilot because this life can get hella drastic hella quick and not even just drastic sometimes life just takes you like you just now it's the thing about going with the flow when it comes to life but some people aren't even aware of the flow that they're on they're not even aware of the wave that they're on they're just they're just there like you how can you be a, your own extra in your own movie you better if your life is a movie you better be the best damn character in the movie you better be the best the best badass character in your movie, y'all. About to trip and bust my ass. Look, for real. Like, I don't know what to say. We are all co-creators of this universe. Travis Scott literally made an astral world. He literally made his own planet. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can create your own reality. Like... Life of Lane, we're in my reality, so to speak. Y'all are in my universe. This is my YouTube channel, therefore my world. I can do do whatever the f I want with it. And you know, that's, that's we're gonna see where it goes. Honestly, as I said before, I do tend to just go with the flow and I just, if it feels right, that's my thing too. I just follow my intuition. Like, as you can see, this is not scripted. I just go with, with from what's in from I just go from what's in my heart and from what's in my heart is telling me that everybody in society there's people who know their potential and then there's people who are just sleep like they just honestly don't know how much of a badass they really are like you're looking up to old dude but little do you know you can go twice as hard as him or her or you can be just as iconic who says you can't be the next Drake? Drake ran this shit for a decade, damn near, and he's still going. I hope he does live a long, pro have a long, prosperous life, a long, prosperous career. But you want to know how he had that mentality? He just stuck with himself and he understood the power of controlling his life. He said, no, because if he really just was on autopilot and when he was Jimmy from Degrassi, don't you think he could have been whoever the fuck? But he was like, fuck that. I'm a fucking rapper. Like, I'm Drake. You're Aubrey. I'm Drake. You know what we call him now? Fucking Drake. I guarantee you no one calls him Aubrey, except like probably some hating ass people. But no, you know what I'm saying? Like, put that in perspective. Control your life. I don't know about y'all, but if you're watching this, I actually do know. If you're watching this, you're tired of that nine to five. You're tired of uh, busting your ass and that's okay. You know how you get out of that? You have to control your life. Set up your surroundings. Set up a, a routine. Really, like, get your mind right. Like, this whole year, if anything, was to show you how to control your life. Like, because it showed you, okay, at least for me, personally, why am I sitting down doing this? I have no idea. But um, it showed me, okay, who's really in my circle? Who's really there to ride for me? Who's really, what's the, what's the real, what are the real things I need to really think about in my lifetime right now? Basically, this just showed me I have to get on my shit and I am currently on the process of taking care of my shit and I'm not worried because I know the universe always gravitates me towards the thing I need to be doing 
in the present moment. And in this present moment, currently in time of my life, I'm sitting here giving out a message. You wanna know why? Because I'm controlling my life. I know my destiny. So my thing to you is control your life and live your destiny. I'm LTG, this is Life of Lane. So what are you gonna do with your life? And I'm not trying to say this to attack you. I'm not trying to, I'm trying to jam this message in your fucking head. Look at me as like that one cousin, that one brother, whoever, however you look at me, that's how, who I am to you. So that being said, y'all, I need you to understand the gravity of the situation. It's November 3rd, election day. Control your life. Don't let your life slip away. That's like, I'm just, it just really like fucks me up, man. For real, like, <sighs> y'all. Well, let me just say this. I already know I'm going to live. Everybody, not just me personally, people in my circle, family, friends, my girl, everyone that I hold dear to my soul, we're all going to live a prosperous life because I'm going to make sure Everybody controls their lives. I'm going to make sure that no one here is on autopilot. You are the fucking pilot of your plane. So why the fuck are you going on autopilot? You are the you are the, the captain of your ship. Do not let someone steer that hoe and make the next Titanic. Do not let somebody control your life. It bothers me how people try to be complacent with it and just deal with it. And then they try to th just throw excuses out there, just being in denial. No, let's keep it a buck. Sometimes you got to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, yo, I don't have my shit together, but I guarantee you I will get my shit together. I will uh, switch up my lifestyle. Like it's really about a lot of people can't look at the reflections. That's what we call deflection. I remember I felt nothing but neglection. Not my name of these convos, so I guess that leaves intention. Damn. Song Reflections, coming out soon. Yo, let me just say this, because I know some people be like, yo, where the music be at? I have nothing but, I have, I have hella songs. But the thing is, y'all, random fact, I don't know how to mix none of them hoes. I need an engineer, y'all. Trust me. Like, if it was me, I'd be on some rush shit. Like, drop a song every week. If anything, every day if I could. But the songs don't sound right. That's why I don't be, like, dropping anything. This is just for the people that be like, oh, yeah, where's the music? No, but um. anyways, back to the uh, situation. But that's me trying to control my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. I'm just really trying to, like... to be 14 minutes in i'm not trying to make this too long i just really want people to understand you have a beautiful soul you have a beautiful mind if if let's just say work right or just your average day in society people that's driving by you right now i don't know what time you're going to listen to this i don't know who you're going to be surrounded with when you listen to this but for the people, because whoever it needs to resonate with is gonna is gonna resonate. So let me just say this: a lot of people are gonna, a lot of people who's watching this, for those out there who are the chosen ones, you're gonna be misunderstood. People are gonna sleep on you. People are not gonna fuck with you, and that's okay. Everything negative that's happening to you, use that as fuel. Use that as okay. No one's fucking with me. That's a bet. I need you to have smiles every fucking day because just keep this in mind. The universe sees everything and everything happens for a reason. So the people who was sleeping on you, the people who wasn't giving you the time of day, they weren't trying to take a risk on you. That's okay because when you actually do shine and it's not even about trying to flex on anybody because by the time you do get it, it's like there's nothing to flex on. It's like, say for instance, the typical story High school, you got bullied. 
you uh, become the successful person and you see that homeless person or you see that uh, bully that turns out to be homeless and then you're flexing on them. There's no point of flexing on them because you already won. <laughs> like you're already on. So there's no fact, there's no point of trying to shit on him because don't you think he's already been through that shit enough? Not saying like, oh, trust me, everything that you want out of life, like just imagine this, right? Imagine everything and anything that you want out of life. Imagine it already has happened in the future because everything is destined. Everything, you can't escape fate. So let's just say if you are destined, which you are because you're coming across this video, if you are destined, there's no worries. Now, of course, life takes you on this whole crazy ass distracting roller coaster. And there's gonna be times when you fall off your horse. There's gonna be times when you're like, fuck, like what's going on with my life? Like, what is going on? Cause I know I'd be having some mental breakdowns sometimes. There'd be sometimes I'll be looking at myself in the mirror and I don't like who the, the man I'm seeing just as much as I know some other people can relate. But that being said, there's times when you have to reflect on your life and control that hoe. Because sometimes if you just slip off, you're gonna go down a deep, deep, dark hole, bro. So I need y'all to control your lives. Control who do you want around you? Who do you want your day ones to consist of? Who do you want to... This is gonna sound, I don't know if this is gonna sound morbid, but I'd be thinking about that. Like, let's say a zombie apocalypse, right? If that shit popped off, but like, say like some end of all days apocalypse shit. Who do you want to be able to say bros to the end? Who do you want to die with, bro? Like, I'd be thinking about that. Like, if this movie ended right now, who can I have by my side to be like, you know what? We did the damn thing. You got to think of that. Like, if you know deep down in your soul that they're not going to ride with you till the wheels fall off, get them the fuck out of your circle ASAP no Rocky, y'all. It pisses me off because it's like I see people in society where it's like I know the people you surround yourself with don't give a fuck about you. They probably talk behind your back. They're trying to get with your girl, probably trying to get with your nigga, you know. There's people who are trying to bring you down. So delete the people in your life that's not writing for you for the long haul. Make sure you have the right cast in your movie. Make sure you're in the right fucking setting. Like, where do you want to be at? Where, who, like, think about your life realistically speaking. Like, we're in 2020. We have a whole fucking decade to go. Like, this is a new era, new culture, new everything. So that being said, the old is the old is dead. Switch up your life. Switch up everything. Change your shit. Control your fucking life, y'all. Because if you don't control your life, someone's going to control you. And that's not going to be all right for me. No one's going to sit there. Okay. No, that's going to be another. That's going to be another video. I was going to say. People would say, oh, I don't know about running a business. I don't know about doing my own thing, being an entrepreneur, being all this, but you're willing to work for someone else. And I guarantee you, I don't give a fuck what happens. I, I'd rather work for myself than somebody else. That's just being real. And it's going to be hard. Life is hard. So, so what, you're going to quit? You can't, you can't. You can't give up, never give up on some David Goggins shit. You gotta have willpower, the mindset, control your life. When shit hits the fan, that's when you keep pushing. Someone said, said it best. I think Steve Harvey said it. I don't know if he's the first person to say it, but whoever said it, if you come across hell, don't stop in hell, keep fucking pushing. Keep going, do not Stop for anyone. Control your fucking life. Because at the end of the day, when the book closed, I know I'm going to say that was a good ass fucking book. That was a good ass story. That being said, y'all, my bad for being hyped. I didn't mean to uh, have this going on for too long. It's about to be going on 20 minutes. <sighs> Control your lives, y'all. You you are the creator of your story. So that being said, when the audience and everybody's looking at your story, is it going to be a good story? Can they learn something from it? Was it entertaining or was it just dull, dry? Oh, I guess he had a good life. No, 
people are going to be like, my movie was the fucking shit, just as much as anybody's watching. If you want a fucking good-ass movie, if you want someone to look at your movie and be like, that was a good-ass fucking movie, five stars, 10 out of 10, give this a fucking like. This goes for the ones who are fucking chosen, and they know what they want out of life. They know how to control their lives. If, if, okay, how about this? If you are controlling your life right now, comment down below, I have control. Why'd I do this? Give this a like. If you are, if this resonated with you, just say I have control slash 888 head ass. But nah, y'all, it's your boy Lane. I need Baba. Today you stepped into my life. I love y'all. Y'all need to control your lives. Peace.